Hi guys. Today we're going to talk about is my gun junk or not? Extraction. We have in front of us three guns. This is a Taurus G2C. As you can see, there's no magazine. Nothing in the chamber. All three of these guns have been safety checked, so I'm not going to go through all three of them. We also have an FMK 9C1 G2. Rock Island Arms, Rock Ultra, 22 TCM, 9mm combo. As you can see from the muzzle size, we already have the 9mm barrel in this. Again. Now, for demonstration purposes, this is the 22 TCM barrel from that Rock Ultra. What we're talking about is you cycle the action. When you do so, a round goes into the chamber. You notice that that round is sitting flush. The gun fires. The extractor claw grabs that round as the slide moves back pulls it out, and then the ejector kicks it out of the gun. Sometimes that fails. Why? I see a lot of people on YouTube who go through firing various rounds to figure out what works in their gun. And that's excellent. That's great information. But I've yet to see anybody discuss why. Why does that fail to extract? In what I do for a living, that's the kind of things that I'm required to find out. Why does a manufacturing process fail? And how do I fix it to where that doesn't happen? One of the things that happens whenever you fire a round, again, this is a fire 22 TCM, an unfired 22 TCM, okay? Notice, as I showed you, that round sits flush. Okay. This fired round does not sit flush. The brass has expanded. All brass, whenever it fires, expands out to match the size of your chamber. And Quite often, it won't fall back in. It doesn't shrink back. Now you think, maybe that chamber is really, really tight. Well, this will be really hard for you to see, but that round wiggles. It moves around. There is plenty of room between an unfired brass and the sides of this chamber. The same thing happens on a 9mm. Okay. This is the barrel from the FMK. This is an unfired 9mm round. Notice it sits flush. Notice also. If you can see it, there's a very, there's a little bit of play. I can move that bullet around in this chamber. So there's plenty of room. This is a fired brass. Once again, it doesn't sit flush. So this brass is expanded. 
Again, a second piece of brass. It also has expanded. We'll put this back together real quick. Function check. Okay. Why? Why doesn't it extract? This right here says proudly American is your extractor. There is a claw inside here. And I can't get it to where you can see it, so But there's a claw on that extractor that grabs that round. It's supposed to hook onto that round with the claw, and as the slide goes back, pull it out. Sometimes the round just stays stuck. There are a couple of reasons for that. Now, I'm going to put a few pictures up as we go through here and you'll see that some of these chambers are clean, nice and smooth or more or less smooth. No chambers fully smooth but for the most part. And the chamber for the 9mm not so much. It's a little bit rough. Now that's pretty typical for most weapons unless you buy a really high-end gun that somebody spent a lot of time in there polishing there's going to be pretty rough in there but interestingly enough I've noticed that it's not really the roughness of the chamber that's been the problem I this FMK I really really like I love how it feels I love how it shoots except this particular gun with certain ammo types will fail to extract almost every time. It's really, really annoying. I really want to like and be able to use this gun. For a while, I really blamed the gun. I said, this gun's a piece of junk. I'm really annoyed that I purchased this gun. Why did I buy this gun? Why did the gun shop you know, suggest this gun to me. Well, it's really not the gun in this particular case. My local gun shop and range, the ammo that they have for range ammo is blazer brass. Works wonderfully. It works in every gun I shoot it through. Laser brass, okay? I can shoot through this gun, laser brass. I can shoot Winchester White Box, Remington UMC. Now I'm sure I've tried a few others. What I cannot shoot through this gun is the one that that particular site, that particular gun shop likes to sell, which is Fiocchi. Fioki 115 grain, Fioki 124 grain. No matter what I try, none of them work in this gun. And there's a reason for that. On the front of the brass, okay, let's go ahead and use a live round. It's easier to understand. Where the brass meets the bullet. The manufacturer has to size this brass to get it the right length. That little step right there is what the round headspace is on. When they sized the brass on the Blazer, the Winchester, the Remington, they made this nice and smooth. This area right here is square. It's smooth, nothing for anything to catch on. The Fiocchi 
or at least the Fiocchi that I have used and purchased, has a burr. That's a little piece of, a little bit of raised material around this edge. So what that does is when this brass expands, that little burr causes it to lock in the chamber. Now, after a certain period of time, the brass will, will shrink back down a little bit and it will release most of the time. Twenty two TCM. Now twenty two TCM I can only purchase Arms Corps ammunition because it's not Sammy approved. They're the only ones that make ammunition for it. So most of the Arms Corps ammunition that I have fired has a small has that same small burr right here at the front. It will nearly, well, nearly, okay, but several times a magazine, it will lock up in this 22 TCM barrel. And in this case, because of the high pressure, it really, really locks. I literally have to take a cleaning rod, take the gun apart, take a cleaning rod, and force the round out of the chamber, or force the spent brass out of the chamber. Is that a fault of the gun or is that a fault of the ammo? Well, it's a little bit of both, but actually, you know, if you get right down to it, it's the ammo manufacturer's job is to make sure that that ammo is clean, has no burrs, has smooth, Consistent exterior, there are no dings, no burrs, that is their job. And quite honestly, in my experience, Fiocchi fails at that job, as does Armcore. What I have to do when I buy 22 TCM, because I can only buy Armscore, is I have to open up the box and every round, I have to carefully take a little piece of sandpaper, like 400 or 800 grit sandpaper, and I have to work that little bit of a burr off of that round. That should have been done by arm score. The same thing with the Fiocchi. If I want to shoot Fiocchi in this gun, I have to do the same thing. I have to take that nine millimeter round and I have to very carefully polish off that burr. <sighs> really? I consider that a flaw of the ammo manufacturer, not the gun. But, caveat, that nine millimeter Fiocchi as it comes from the box, it works fine in this Rock Island Ultra. Even though the 22 TCM fails. Everything runs through this. I've yet to have a failure to extract. Some manufacturers just seem to get their guns a little bit better than others. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped to explain and maybe helped you to figure out why your gun's not extracting. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.